you notice Lisa didn't want to recognize her, didn't want to uh, describe herself, didn't want to show her face. You notice that? She sounded uh, pretty, I mean, uh, to me, uh, listen, she said, it saved my life for many years. And then it didn't save my life. Then it started killing my life. It wasn't the marijuana. It was her. It was her decision to get stoned and be stoned all the time. And then her bipolar and her decision that stressed her out. Now she has a cat and she goes to M.A. Marijuana Anonymous. Are you crazy? So you think you need some God higher power thing to stop using pot? What all you have to do is just make the right decision. If you don't want to use it anymore, you just don't use it anymore. You don't take lithium to overcome bipolar. That is a stupid... They've been... That's... They're not even doing that anymore. What's wrong with you? I was diagnosed schizoaffective bipolar many years ago. I used to diagnose, I used to self-medicate myself with all kinds of drugs, including heroin, for many years. When I came upon, you know, got to, to the point where I just couldn't be a heroin user anymore or any of that other stuff, I couldn't do it. I knew better. And I had to, you know, but I had to stop, you know, the symptoms, they were driving me crazy. Figure speech. So, when I finally got to the point where I was done, I knew that the only way I could do it would be to tell myself and to realize, and come to the realization that I'm mentally ill, that I need something, I need some way to stop the symptoms or understand the symptoms, realize them, and understand what they are. Knowing that, I can fight them just consciously without medication. But it was pretty hard to do. So I went back, I started using pot, medical marijuana, lo and behold, boom, I feel normal, like Melissa Etheridge said, I feel normal. Now I'm, you know, I'm, a, I don't know, I'm missing fingers, I'm a double amputee, that's right, I have no legs, I'm sitting here, with no legs, I can try to get up and show you, but it's hard to do, see, that's my knee, man. Up above my knee, no legs. I'm in a lot of pain. I've injured my back. I've had my back and my neck broken. And uh, they had me on, oh, God, a huge amount of opiates. And I just couldn't do them. I mean, it was like, God, I felt so, there's a, a block there, a psychological aversion now. You know, I, I don't want to be on those things. Once again, turn to medical marijuana. I was able to cut my, uh, they wanted me on opiates. I've got it to, to methadone for pain. I've got it way down. Down to less than a maintenance for a heroin user. So. Whatever you say. I think, you know, your your uh, experience is definitely a, at least experience is definitely a unique, ex very, very unique experience. I mean, you got to say, I've never heard anybody say that before. As a matter of fact, it's been shown lately that it uh, actually is actually very helpful in a lot of mental disorders like that. A lot of the depression and the bipolars and such because of the the way it, I mean, how can you be depressed if you're freaking laughing about everything? <laughs> really? Come on. And there aren't any side effects physiological, and you know that. So why are you saying all this crap? I know y'all had to bring the other side, but why bring a lie? Why bring somebody who's Who's lying so bad they're embarrassed to show their face? I don't get it, but y'all keep trying. You just can't help yourselves, can you? I mean, you know, we're not trying to make it, make everybody use pot. Like it's not like they have to do it. But geez, man, when y'all go home, you know, what's the first thing you do? Have a beer, glass of wine, a drink, or what? Half a year at lunchtime having your damn drinks. And you want to... You want to squash medical marijuana use because you don't think it's right? <laughs> oh. 
your opinion is, well, it's not a valid opinion, okay? Because you're not making any sense. Because you're not thinking about it in a critical way. Use critical thinking. Think about the science. And you'll come to the same conclusion as millions of others that marijuana is pretty benign. And uh, so what if you get high? What do you do when you drink a beer or wine or whatever? Why else would you drink that nasty tasting crap? But to get high. Oh, what, a glass of wine is good for you for your heart or whatever? It's the grape juice, you idiots. Not the alcohol, it's the juice. People. Anyway, that's the way that is. And all that medical marijuana is a good thing. We need to legalize it. And even even Lisa here says she should legalize it. Why is she saying that if it's going to kill her, if it was killing her? See, she's not making any sense. Least you can do is have somebody with enough uh, strength in their own opinion, in their own ideal, in their, comment in their own presentation that they'll show their face. They're going to be honest about it. Well, I'm Gerald Reynolds in Portland, Oregon. I'll see you later. I'm signing out now. That was my answer. Good night.